Welcome back to CAD CAM tutorial. Today we are going to design a simple wind turbine in SolidWorks with the help of many parts. I wish you like it. So let's see how to do in SolidWorks. It is very interesting project, a simple project. Now here let's make the first part of wind turbine base. So let's start. Select top plane, sketch. Go to sketch and here found, found out center rectangle and just draw a rectangle. Exit. Select both the vertical and horizontal line and make relation equal. Ok. Now define the length. 101.6 mm. Ok. Select here fillet. Keep 10 mm and select the rectangle. Select yes. All four corners selected. OK. Now select here extruded boss and extrude up to 8.89 mm. OK. See. Now select here front plane sketch normal choose the line and start from mid drop down and connect with this point exit now let's define define the dimension from bottom line 21.59 25.4 mm and select this line eighty two point fifty five by two mm just half okay now this drawing is fully defined so select revolve boss base select this line center line as a axis okay now it's revolved Uh, let's define the color so it will identify little dark I prefer not uh, that much keep ok now select this face sketch normal make circle make four circle in four midpoints exit now select all five circles shift key and select one by one all five circle and create one relation here equal now define the diameter 38.1 mm thirty eight point one mm that's it ok now here select again center rectangle select this rectangle for construction ok now select the vertical and horizontal line equal ok now it's time to define uh, better choose trim entity and trim this half circle cancel and just undo because uh, we want to trim only half not full so we have to do define center line also escape press escape every time we have to select exit now again try okay that's fine 
even I think no need okay the anyways okay now let's define this length 76.2 mm and sell defined one edge Twelve point seven mm by default. By default, twenty point seven. Okay. Select here circle, and draw four circles at four corners. Okay. Now select all four circles and make relation equal. And define the diameter six point three five mm. Okay. Now select extruded cut. Cancel it. Convert these lines into real lines. Uncheck this construction geometry, so the line will automatically convert. That's it. Now again try. See here, all points are selected. Select here through all. Okay. my computer is now day slow so that's it select back surface sketch and select this outer circle and convert entities now it is converted so just select extruded boss select reverse and here select up to surface select this surface so it is close from bottom so this is the our base for wind turbine so let's save the first part go to desktop and create one new folder wind turbine let's make the first part base save now let's do the next part let's do the next part blade rotor not uh, blade it's rotor so select front plane sketch first select the line draw a vertical up to origin point and horiz horizontal choose this spline and connect both the end exit now select this spline select this one spline horizontal this side vertical now let's define eighteen point nine five and this distance Seventy six point two three. Select the full length thirty eight point one mm and vertical length nineteen point zero five mm. Now this geometry almost fully defined. Okay. Select revolve boss base and select this bottom line as a axis. See, okay. Now select top plane and create one plane. So choose here plane and define the distance. Nineteen point zero five mm. See, okay. Now select this plane, sketch normal, 
and here we want to draw a circle connect this center point to origin point make sure this line horizontal now let's define the length 12.7 mm and keep the diameter 16.51 mm okay and it's time to extrude cut and make the depth 11.43 mm okay see now hide this plane now we want multiple number of patterns so just select here show temporary axis now this is the temporary axis choose here circular pattern here select this cutout and here select axis and keep three number of patterns 360 degree equal spacing now hide this axis now see now select the back surface sketch and draw a one circle here we want to create a hole so let's define the diameter 9.652 mm okay and select extruded cut and make the depth 12.7 mm okay now let's define the color let's say blue color but this too dark okay this looks nice let's save the part number 2 rotor let's see the another parts let's make the next part wind turbine blade choose here top plane a sketch and draw here a circle and keep the diameter 16.51 mm and extrude it up to 25.4 mm okay now we want to create some planes so select here top plane plane first plane let's define the length 82.55 mm okay again choose top plane plane and define the third plane 2 second plane 107.95 mm again select one more plane One hundred and fifty-two point four mm. Okay. Now hide these two planes. Now select plane one, sketch normal. Now it's time to define some geometry here. Draw a vertical line, convert and draw one arc. Exit. and draw one more arc here exit select three point arc connect these two points exit now select these two lines make relation tangent here also tangent now it's time to define
5.08 mm Twelve point seven mm, and from origin to this bottom length, nineteen point zero five mm. Now here we have to define the radius. Two point five four by two mm, and define this ten point one six by two mm, and select this big radius forty one point five six five mm. Now the geometry is fully defined. So let's Exit. Now select plane to show. Now do one thing. Just hide the plane sketch one and hide plane one. Select plane two. Sketch. We just hide to show the proper dimension. Otherwise, it will be mixed or jum jumble. Draw the same profile, convert it curve, exit. Again, choose line. Select this point and go back to this point, and it will automatically convert into arc. Drag up to where you want. Exit. Select three point arc. Exit. Select both the end point. tangent relation select the another end tangent relation it's time to define same 5.08 13.97 mm and the bottom edge Fourteen point seven three two mm. Let's define the radius. Two point zero three two by two inch. Select the top. Ten point one six by two inch. And select this radius. Twenty-two point nine eight seven. Okay, so this is the our geometry, and it's also fully defined. So simply exit. Now hide this geometry also, and hide plane two also. Now select plane three. Show. Now it is select plane three sketch normal. Now the same geometry again we will draw. Again, select line and convert it into arc. Exit. The same way we will same method we will use three point arc. Connect both the end point. Tangent. Tangent. Okay. Now let's define. First, define this mid distance. Three point zero four eight mm. Three point zero four eight mm. This point to this point, vertical distance. Ten point one six mm. The same from bottom point to origin. Seventeen 
7.62 mm select this small radius 2.032 by 2 mm select the bigger one Six point one by two mm, and select this arc. Forty one point six five six. Okay. Now see the geometry is fully defined. So exit. Now select three sketch show. Now see. now it's time to connect it so go to feature and select here one option lifted boss base select first geometry second geometry third geometry and select this circle see it looks nice okay now you can see here now you can hide both the geometry you can hide the plane three also or let create one more plane choose top plane plane hundred and ninety point five mm okay so this is the our plane four Now select the plane four. A sketch, normal. Select here circle and draw one circle from origin point, and keep the diameter two point zero three two mm. Now simply exit. Now it's time to connect. Select sketch three, show. Select here lifted boss base. Select this profile and select this circle. See, it's looking perfect. Okay. Now you can hide. Hide both the planes three and four. Fill it. Point six mm. Select this face. Okay. Now this is the our wind turbine blade. Now select the full geometry. And define one color. We prefer little dark. Okay. Now let's save our third part, wind turbine blade. Uh, let's see the next part. Now here we will do the next part, lower must. Top plane is sketch. Select line. Draw a horizontal line, then vertical. Make little taper. Horizontal and vertical. Exit. Now this line we will define. Hundred and sixty-five point one mm. 15.875 mm 12.7 mm 19.05 mm okay now select revolve boss base and select this bottom line as a axis okay now select this surface sketch 
and here we want to make one cutout a square cutout so select center rectangle and define fifteen point nine four m select vertical and horizontal and make relation equal okay now select extruded cut and keep the depth twelve point seven mm see here okay now we will define the material uh, color to this i prefer white but uh, it not look perfect let's say some okay this also not perfect let's define white save that's it now save this part number 4 lower must lower must arm let's do the next part uh, let's do the next part upper must select a plane a sketch line and start from origin point draw a horizontal line vertical little up and draw a taper and up to origin exit now this is the our geometry so let's define 12.7 mm 12.7 mm Hundred and fifty two point four mm. Okay, select revolve boss base. Okay, choose chamfer point five mm forty five degree. Select this end. Okay. and define select the full body and define the uh, paint white paint to full body now save part number 5 upper must now here we will make the wind turbine shaft select front plane a sketch and draw a circle keep the diameter 9.65 mm and extrude it up to 85 mm see okay choose chamfer 0.5 mm 45 degree select both the corners make 1 mm okay now select top plane sketch and here we want to create some groove corner rectangle keep the length 0.8 mm and width 0.5 mm and distance from this point 69 mm okay draw a center line vertical center line 
features and find out here one tool revolve cut see here the axis already selected and the profile selected okay now see we cut a groove here this is the wind turbine shaft it will comes inside the it will go inside so let's keep white or uh, let's define some metal color chrome finish that's it steel okay part number 6 shaft make the next part washer select front plane sketch and here draw two circles start from origin point and keep outer diameter twenty two point eighty six mm and inner twelve point seven mm and extrude it extrude up to seven point six two mm chamfer. 0.5 mm 45 degree select this surface see polished steel save washer the next part here is housing or generator body so let's start first we have to create one plane so i'll select front plane plane flip direction seventy six point two mm now select front plane sketch and here we will make one sketch pass through origin point and convert it and con just convert it and connect with this okay now let's define twenty five point four mm and the bottom edge twenty two point eighty six mm twelve point seven mm radius also 12.7 mm eleven point forty three mm six point three five mm now see the geometry is fully defined okay now simply exit now select plane 1 sketch normal hide this plane sketch 1 select line 
draw this almost same geometry convert it exit create some relation select these two points tangent select these two points tangent relation now let's try to define the dimension origin point to top point 16.51 mm Twenty two point eighty six MM twenty six point three five MM twelve point seven MM and go to the top seven point Five one eight four mm, twelve six point three five mm. Okay, I think every uh, dimensions are perfect. This also three point six point. Okay. Now exit. Now select dimension sketch one show. Exit. Just select here show. Now go to feature and select here one option, lifted boss base. Select both the end point. Now see the geometry. Okay. Now hide this plane. Select mirror. Select this geometry, and select this face. Okay. Now you can hide this sketch. Now we want to create one more plane. So select front plane. Plane. Twenty-five point. 4 mm see here in front direction okay select this plane sketch normal and draw here a big circle start from origin and keep the diameter 38.1 mm okay and exit from the sketch and uh, we want to use loft boss base command lofted boss base command select this geometry and circle clear select here show or just clear the things select this face and circle now see Okay. Hide. Now hide the plane. Now see, this is the body. Now we want to cut half portion. So select right plane, sketch normal. Select corner rectangle and draw one rectangle. It should cover all the faces. Okay. Select extruded cut. Select reverse direction through all. You can see it's going to cut half. Select OK. Now see here. Now again select the same right plane sketch normal. Select here line. Connect this end to this end. Up to here and connect this end, 
exit now let's define the bottom edge bottom length Fourteen point four seven eight mm. Okay. Select extruded cut. Keep here through all. Okay. Now we made a taper cut. Now I did this looped boss base. And. Uh, We will shift this circle so this design will become little better okay it should not be taper it should be a perfect position adjust this conditions you can shift and drag and you can change the shape okay now this quite better than previous now select shell 2.54 select this face okay now see it's become a hollow now select this face a sketch normal select this outer line select select all outer edges select 1.27 mm okay now see here select line draw vertical line draw one more vertical line up to this select the line make relation vertical now here also let's make the dimension thirteen point one two mm and defined one thirteen point one two by two mm just half so that this become in middle twelve mm and define the distance from outer edge 65 mm now the geometry is fully defined now here let's try extruded boss 1 2 select this face select here reverse up to next okay now you can see it is filled here now again select the same face sketch normal draw one horizontal line
ड्रॉ वन ज्योमेट्री ओके नाउ इट्स टाइम टू डिफाइन सेवन पॉइंट सिक्स टू एम एम सेवन पॉइंट सिक्स टू एम एम नाउ दिस लाइन डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम आउटर लाइन ट्वेंटी वन पॉइंट फाइव नाइन एम एम ओके एंड दिस लाइन फ्रॉम आउटर लाइन सिक्सटी सिक्स पॉइंट जीरो फोर एम एम सेलेक्ट विथ सिक्स पॉइंट थ्री फाइव एम एम एलेवन पॉइंट फोर्टी थ्री एम एम नाउ सेलेक्ट बोथ दी दिस लाइन्स एंड मेक रिलेशन को लीनियर ओके एंड हियर ऑल्सो सेलेक्ट दिस टू लाइन्स एंड दिस लाइन्स मेक रिलेशन को लीनियर ओके दिस आउटर लाइन नो नीड सो जस्ट सेलेक्ट रिवॉल्व कट सेलेक्ट हियर एक्सिस दिस इज द रिवॉल्व एक्सिस एक्सिस ऑफ रिवॉल्यूशन सी we cut inside a sketch corner rectangle and select this corner to this line and define the length 15.24 mm extruded boss keep 12.7 mm reverse direction okay now see that's it still i am not satisfied with this curve so i will edit once again loop it to and here select end condition select normal to profile okay this better select face and sketch both okay now see this looks better now again select this face sketch normal select here corner rectangle exit Twelve point seven mm, and select this outer line. Seven point six two mm. Four point eight two six mm. Okay, now select this bottom line and this line, collinear. Okay. Now select revolve cut. Select this line as axis. Okay. Now see here we created a gap, a hole. Now select this face normal. Now here we want to make some throughout holes. Select here hole wizard. Keep hole metric drill size. Keep three mm. Three mm. Select here through all. Select position. Select this line. Select OK. Now see, we created some throughout holes. Keep fillet one mm, and select this all four holes. OK. 
now see the our housing is ready so this is the our body for housing now we will define the material red okay and click okay let we will make it transparent at the in video now save this part part number 9 housing let's start the assembly of wind turbine in solid works here we will select new assembly okay this is the assembly window of solid works 2014 let's browse our first part wind turbine and this is the our window select bigger select first part base now let's define right click on the part float okay select front plane and front plane of assembly and part mat go inside top plane and top plane of part click mat go incident and choose the right plane and right plane of part mat go incident relation okay okay fixed now let's browse the other parts now this time we will choose must arm so select lower and click upper also open this is the lower and this is the upper select mat select this circular face and this inside face select go centric okay select the bottom face and must arm go incident okay now again select this face and this face keep reverse co centric relation okay just drag in upward position here select the faces upper arm back and this arm coincident okay so upper and lower arm fixed okay let's browse the our next part this time i prefer to bring housing here choose mat select this inside circular face and this face co centric okay drag this upward select this bottom face of upper arm and this face and it creates tangent relation okay now this it is rotating with this let's browse the our rotor now here we will create one relation mat select the whole of rotor and select this circular face flip mat alignment co centric okay now select this face and this face here coincide okay so now it's time to add blades come down our blades choose mat select this bottom face of blade and this face coincident relation okay 
Now select the blade circular face and hole. Co-centric face. Okay. Now here we want to create one important relation. Select router. Select right plane of router. Open blade. and select front plane of blade this degree I think choose met now here we will assign some angle let's say 45 degree reverse Twenty degree. Uh, this also not sufficient. Seventy five degree. Okay, this is quite better. Okay. Okay. Now this. Now you see. Now it's time to make multiple number of. Just undo our last relation. Okay. Now choose here circular pattern. Select the blade the component and select this path. So select any circular path. So I selected this circular face. We need three number of blades. See here okay now here we created three number of blades now let's finish the balance part now here we want to add some parts inside browse those parts let's say shaft shaft and select washer also open shaft and this is washer keep mat select the circular face and shaft co-centric relation ok select the inside face of rotor and this face of shaft keep the gap let's say 10 mm see here it's better 10 mm ok now select this inside face and this uh, washer circular select this wall and this face ok now press control key and drag I think it's not yet created again select control key click the part and drag one bearing mat Co-centric relation, select the wall, ok. So the bearing also fixed here, ok. Now it's time to add the half portion of this housing. So we will just do one thing, we will just mirror it. This is the simple way what we have to do. Mirror component, first select the plane. So select this plane select the component select here on option next and here in bottom you can see here create op opposite hand version so click this icon see it's almost the same okay that's it the housing created now we want to see what exactly inside so select this body change transparency now we can see the inside shaft and bearing so now this is the our assembly ready see let's little make 
ओके नाउ सेव दिस असेंबली असेंबली हियर सेव सेव ऑल नाउ यू कैन राइट क्लिक ऑन द टैब एंड सेलेक्ट मोशन मैनेजर एंड सेलेक्ट मोशन मैनेजर नाउ हियर वी विल गिव द एनिमेशन लिटिल एनिमेशन फर्स्ट सेलेक्ट हियर मोशन स्टडी प्रॉपर्टीज एंड डिफाइन फ्रेम रेट पर सेकेंड आई क्रीप ऑलवेज ट्वेंटी फाइव इज बेटर फॉर मोशन नाउ ड्रैक दिस असेंबली अप टू ट्वेल्व सेकेंड नाउ हियर मोटर सेलेक्ट दिस रोटर सर्कुलर एज कीप आर पी एम ट्वेंटी फाइव एम एम ओके नाउ सेलेक्ट हियर कैलकुलेट नाउ सी इट्स कैलकुलेटिंग drop down and play now you can see our wind turbine rotating so this is our main project wind turbine i hope you like it please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks don't forget to share and like our